Welcome to Grandma Dodge's Kitchen. I got a real good one for you today. You know that it's so hot out here in California. Triple digits. So I want to start making summer dishes. Make it fast and easy and fresh and delicious. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a... This is... Um, uh, cream cheese okay so we're gonna make a cream cheese pound cake now this is easy and fast and you can make it the night before when it's not um, hot and it'll be good very good the next day okay all right F for lunch or for dinner okay so you're gonna need your cream cheese it's, this is um, eight ounces of cream cheese and you're gonna need three cups of sugar and three cups of flour. And you're gonna need a cup and a half of butter, room temperature. And you're gonna need six eggs. And you're gonna need one tablespoon of vanilla. So it's easy, it's fast, and it's very, very delicious. Okay, I got my oven heating at 325. Because once we, once we uh, get it together, we're going to cook it for one hour. It takes about one hour. And while I'm, we're waiting for it to cook, I'm going to do a chicken salad. Because chicken salad is very good in the summertime. So we're going to do a, a chicken salad with this after we get it, after we get it in, in the oven. Okay? All right? All right. So, so we're going to learn how to. Uh, cut the thyme and 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 cook something sometime in the night in the evening when it's when it's cool when it's cooled off. Okay, that's what we want to do. We want to do that. Okay, so we're gonna put this this cream cheese in the in the, in, the, in the mixer. This is the mixer. Okay, and we're going to put um, three sticks of butter. Okay. A half, a uh, cup and a half is three six of butter. This is room temperature. Everything gonna be room temperature now. You're gonna room temperature your um your butter and your um cream cheese and your eggs. Everything room temperature, okay? So, all right. So that's that's one stick. So we want three sticks all together. So see, you can make your cake at night, cause it's cooler at night. And then you can make your um, chicken salad or whatever you're gonna have with it. Cause we're gonna be making some delicious uh, meals that you can make quick and fast, okay? For the summer okay all right with one more stick I use unsalted butter but you can use whatever butter you want but make sure it's not margarine make make sure it's butter okay I use butter I don't use margarine okay well, that's the third this third stick of butter, okay? And now we're going to put our sugar in. Okay? So we're going to put this three cups of sugar. Let's put it all in. Okay? And we're going to, now we're going to beat it until it gets fluffy. We want to make it nice and fluffy. So I would say about five minutes. So if, if you like to, you can also cut them, uh, break them first. That's what we did in Mississippi. We don't have to worry about that now, bad eggs. Usually, um, most of the eggs that we get nowadays, but you beat, you beat it real good, one at a time, like a minute each time. And, and that's, 
you know, bring the do our sides so it can all be in there together. So we got five more because that's one. Another one is, this is two. Let's put another egg in it. So this this makes three eggs all together. This will be four. So we have two more to go after this, okay? This is, we got one more to go after this. So, this have a last egg, the six eggs, okay? All right, this our last one, okay? So, let's do it real good. of salt in, in it, okay? In the flour. All right, put, the, this is two cups right here. So we'll uh, let, uh, mix it up, up, and then we'll put the uh, last cup in. Start off slow, so it won't splash all over you. Push down the sides. Okay. Not a lot of ingredients. So we're gonna put now we're gonna put the third cup of flour in. And we're gonna put a tablespoon of vanilla flavor. Okay. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Beat it slow first. Because if you don't, it's gonna splash out. Flour that can help it not stick. But if you have none stick, you can do that too. None stick spray. But I don't like the none stick spray. I, I, I like the old fashioned way we used to do it. it comes out easier. Okay? And then we'll put it in our pan. And I got my oven heating at 325 and we're gonna cook it for 60 minutes. That's one hour. You don't have to worry too much about trying to get it even because the heat is going to make it even out. Okay? Just get it all out because you paid for it. Okay? And you know we like desserts in America. We like to have some dessert. Okay? Alright, nothing wrong with it. 
Okay. All right. So let's put it in the oven. In the meantime, we're gonna make our chicken salad. Remember, summer chicken salad is always good in the summertime. We're gonna do the chicken. Oh, it's so good. When I was a little girl, I ate. I had the pan. My mother used to give me the pan all the time because I was always around her when she was cooking. Welcome back. Now you see, we're going to have a Grandma Dothan's chicken salad. Okay. So what you're gonna need is um, you're going to need this is I will put it right here. This is a uh, red onion. This is red um, apple. This is chicken. Now the chicken, what you do is whatever part you like, you, 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 you boil it the night before. Boiling is better than baking because boiling you get all that juice in it and everything. And this is a, this is two cups and this is a, a half a cup of mayo. This right here is a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. That's just to kick it up a notch. This right here is um, uh, dill. Okay, now this is Grandma Dothan's uh, celery salt. Okay, this is four eggs, boiled eggs. Okay, and so, and this is just about a fourth of a cup of celery. And also make sure that your, your, your vegetables are cut fine. Don't, don't have them big and chunky. And we're gonna black pepper and and salt to the taste. We're not gonna put that much salt in it because our salt is, is gonna be from this celery salt. Okay, this is sea salt. This is Grandma Dothan's celery salt. Okay, all right. So let's start with our and I always make enough for four in the family. So if you want more, you just double the recipe. Okay, this is our Dijon mustard. Okay. See, we want the we want small pieces. Make sure you this, this is red apple. At, at Grandma's kitchen, we like to make it fast, fabulous, easy, and delicious. Okay. All right, now we have, this is, we're gonna use a quarter of a cup of red onion, okay? Make, make sure it's small pieces, don't, because you don't want people biting down on big pieces of celery or big pieces of um, onion. Let's put our, now this is a, a half a cup of mayo, okay? All right, look at that. Look at that. Smell it, smell it. It's very good, delicious. Four, uh, four, and I like eggs in my salads. Some people don't like eggs, but I'm an egg lover. I love eggs. So I like eggs in my salad. And then I, this is, this is the celery. Okay. Now you can serve this with any kind of crackles that you like. You can serve it with bread, or you can serve it with Hawaiian rolls, however you like it. You know? It's your thing. Do what you want to do. <laughs> you know, it's yours. So just, just have fun with it. That's, that's a fresh deal. You, you, that, you, you can get that at the grocery store. It kicks it up a notch, okay? A right. teaspoon of, of Grandma Dothan's celery season, okay? That's gonna kick it up a notch, okay? All right. 
okay and then let's get a uh, black pepper to the taste black pepper to the taste okay and just a little bit of salt don't put that much salt in it okay because we already had celery salt okay all right so let's mix it real good now wasn't that easy wasn't that easy and it's always good to have chicken salad it's always good in the summertime it's very good all right I'll be back and I'll show you the finished product. I'll show you how we do it. I'll show you how we do it. I'll show you how we do it. Welcome back. Now you see, our, it's golden brown. And the way you know that it's done all the way through, you take a knife like this, a case knife like this, and you just, see, all right. It came out clean, see there? It has to come out clean. If it don't come out clean, it's not done. So it took us uh, uh, 70 minutes. It took an hour and 10 minutes. And so um, now we gotta let it cool. You gotta let it cool for about 15 minutes before you put, and then we're gonna put it in our dish. But we have to let it cool first because it'll tear if you don't let it cool. All right? Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. And see, you can insert it with crackers or Hawaiian rolls or bread if you want sliced bread. Okay. Let's have a taste. Yeah. Nice and sweet, delicious. So let's let's taste our chicken salad. You can never go wrong with chicken salad. Remember that. And look, you can put. Chicken salad on your lettuce, so good. Very good. So I want you to like, subscribe, and comment, and turn your post notification button on so that YouTube can see that you are inter interacting with me. So tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your co-workers to subscribe to Grandma Dots' Kitchen. Help me out, okay? All right? Now, I'm on uh, Instagram, and uh, it's uh, Dots' Kitchen. Instagram is Dots' Kitchen. And I'm, I'm going to be giving away three of these cookbooks. And to, to enter, you go and you just follow the directions that's on the page, how to enter, okay? And I'm going to sign it, autograph it. Send it back to you by return mail. So go to my uh, Instagram, which is Dorothy's Kitchen, and follow the directions uh, uh, on Instagram how to win, how to be a winner. I'll be looking out and watching for you, okay? All right? And don't forget, I have seasonings. So go to my website now, and you can get the seasoning, and you can get the things that we uh, offer on on it and and we'll we'll return it to you by return mail if you if you order okay all right and don't forget to turn on your button your notification button and leave it on so when i put up a new recipe because i'm gonna be putting up new recipes for the summer and so that you will be able to that you'll get a notification put your notification button and leave it on okay all right happy eating to you